Good morning guys, Kylo is sleeping, so it's time for Mama to do a little pamper session today. I'm so excited. It is winter officially here in Canada, I feel like in most places. It's just getting colder. I can already feel my skin getting drier and drier. We've had to turn on the heat in our house like for a good two to three weeks now. So I can just already feel my skin getting drier. I do have combination skin, so I have a pretty oily T-zone, but the rest of my face, especially in the winter, I legit will get like dry patches and dry skin. So I can also feel it on my my body as well so I am just looking forward to having a full super hydrating just drenching myself in hydration today but yeah let's get to a little pamper sesh and I'll share with you guys my pamper routine first things first I am going to be oiling my hair this is my first step because this is something you want to let sit in your hair for at least 30 minutes preferably an hour but I honestly don't do longer than that it really isn't too good to let the oil sit in your hair for more than a few hours at max I hope I'm saying the brand name right but I've been loving this meal rosemary and mint scalp and hair oil there's been studies that have come out and specifically said that rosemary has been amazing for hair growth. It's something I've been testing out over the last few weeks, so we'll see how it goes. I will keep you guys updated, but it also just really helps to reduce frizz in your hair. Hair oiling is amazing for strengthening your hair, moisturizing your hair, and just adding that shine and strengthening your scalp because healthy hair comes from a healthy scalp, and that's super important. That's something I didn't know years ago. Like I didn't even pay any attention to my scalp in the past, but now I'm all about that scalp health so I'm going to be oiling my scalp and hair. Most important step is to detangle your hair first. And the last time I washed my hair, which was just a day and a half, like two days ago, I did use an exfoliating shampoo on my scalp. So that'll help any excess buildup on your scalp just be removed before you apply the oil. But it's not something you have to do because sometimes I do this on dirty hair too, but my hair is actually pretty clean and scalp is exfoliated, which will give you the best results. All right, and then you really don't need to get too fancy with it. You just simply apply that oil throughout your head evenly. This is my favorite way to do it. Just go down the center, split it, go down. And as I'm going down, I'm just like trying to evenly distribute that oil from the top down to the bottom of my head. Another section. And then I like to take a nice full dropper and then just evenly apply that throughout my hair. But yeah, now I will just leave this sitting in my hair. So this is an extra little step that I like to take and it's just going through and massaging that hair oil into your scalp. I don't do it too rough because I don't want to like tangle up my hair. So I'll just kind of like be gentle with how I do it. If I do do circular motions, I do it gently and then release the hair so that I'm not tangling it up. But this is a nice little extra step that really helps the hair oil be able to penetrate even better into your scalp. You don't need to do it for long. I know some people say you should do it for a couple minutes, but I just find it's not necessary I've noticed like pretty good results so far from me just doing it for about a minute or so and not to mention it's extremely relaxing like I literally feel tingles I wish you guys could like understand right now I literally feel tingles all over my scalp when I do this with the hair oil I'm literally getting tingles all over my body it's so incredibly relaxing and soothing Also, can we just talk about how adorable this little scalp massager is? I got it off Amazon. I love that it's fully silicone because it's not gonna hold on to any bacteria, especially because I do use it in the shower as well. So you can tie your hair up if you want, but I'm gonna use my little headband and just keep my hair back. And I will let that soak for at least 30 minutes, but preferably an hour is good, but I won't be able, I won't have enough time for an hour today. <laughs> All right, I am able to do some facial contouring because I gotta get this face de-puffed. So I'm gonna take my Foreo Bear 2, which huge shout out to today's sponsor, which is Foreo. I have been absolutely loving the Bear 2 for contouring and lifting my face because look how well it just fits because of the little balls. It just fits so perfectly into the contours of your face. The cool thing about this is it uses microcurrent technology. You can kind of feel little tiny pulses, but it also is the only microcurrent device out there that uses four different types of microcurrents. They use advanced microcurrents, 
lifting microcurrent, tapping, and sculpting microcurrent. So four different types going at once. I also like to do it above my brow to really lift. What I love about this contour device specifically is just how well it fits into your hand. And like I said, how well it fits into the contour of your face. Like there's a lot of different devices out there, but this one is just perfect little handheld device. And I feel like it really fits into the shape of your face very nicely. So this side of my face is not done and this side is done. And you can already see how much more lifted this side is. Like, look at that. I feel like my cheekbone literally looks sunken. That's why I'm obsessed with using this. And if you're consistent with this, you're actually gonna notice it reduces wrinkles and firms up your skin in just a week. These are my before and after results. Insane. If you guys want to shop the Foreo Bear 2 or just shop Foreo in general, they are having a 50% off sale right now. And you can get an extra 5% off using my code. I'm gonna leave the code on the screen here for you guys to shop and the link in the description box. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is shave my face because I haven't shaved my face in like a good two, three weeks and I really need it. I always like applying a face oil before I shave my face because it really helps the razor like glide or the blade, whatever you wanna call it, glide on like really smoothly to avoid any cuts. I've been using this amazing derma planner from Leaf. It's perfect because it's a lot better than those little disposable ones you buy on Amazon. Obviously it's just better for the environment, one, to even have something reusable instead of disposable. But two, this is very professional. Like when I use this, I feel like I am really using a professional derma planning blade blade to shave my face. So a lot better. The ones on Amazon always felt a little like rough on the skin. So I like how smooth this one shaves my face. I do have an affiliate link with them. I will leave it down below, but not sponsored. Look at how much hair. I know that's kind of nasty, but I just want to give you guys the visual here. Look at how much dead skin is in there as well. It's not just hair. This also does not make your hair grow back thicker. I know a lot of people get concerned about that. I've been literally doing this for years and it does not make your hair grow back thicker. Like all of that alone came off of just my mustache area. Take a look at all that hair that just came off of just this part. So crazy. Okay, so my face is shaved, but I'm not gonna do extractions today because I did some not too long ago, so I don't wanna overdo it. But I do have like this little guy right here is bothering me. I'm gonna see if I can... Yep, got it. I should have known myself. Once I start, I can't stop. There's a blockhead right here. Whew, hurts so much on the upper lip. Whew, I got it. Praise the Lord and praise Jesus Christ. I'm actually seeing so many now. So I really want to shorten my brows a little bit because shortening your brows can make your face look more lifted because when your brow is really long, it actually drags down your face. Whereas if your brow is short, it makes your face look more lifted. And I feel like my brows are a little too long. I feel like I just want to take off this little end piece. That's it. This one is super long. I want to take off all of this right here. I also really, really need to trim my brows. They are ridiculously long. I'm just brushing all my brow hairs up. There we go. All right, I am so ready to hop in that shower and get all this off my face and scrub the dead skin off my body. Now, before I hop in the shower, I'm actually gonna be doing a little bit of oil pulling. This is something I've been doing for my teeth recently and it is life-changing. I've heard so many amazing things and so many amazing benefits for your teeth that oil pulling can have. And honestly, it's been amazing so far. It really helps to loosen up any plaque or buildup on your teeth. This can save you from needing to go to the dentist. I've heard at all, or just like needing to like reducing the amount. So it's pretty magical. So I use coconut oil and you basically want to switch Wish it around your mouth constantly for at least 20 minutes, but I find it hard to do it for that long. So I do at least 10, but yeah, you're supposed to definitely do it for a good 20 and I use coconut oil. After I put this in, your girl won't be able to talk, so. <laughs> Okay. 
the very first thing I will do is dry brushing. So dry brushing is something that has been amazing for my skin. If you have very dry skin or if you have KP on your arms like I do, look at all that dead skin coming off like it's crazy. This helps so much without any moisturizer or without your body being wet, just completely dry. Use that brush in circular motions and it's so, so, so helpful. You can see all that dead skin that just comes right off. Your skin will be so smooth afterwards. I do it all over my entire body. Normally I would only cleanse my face after I wash my hair but i obviously you know after those extractions and everything i was really dying to get this face washed all right time to get into washing this hair you guys know brio Gio is my tried and true i absolutely love it i do have a full hair care routine up on my channel if you guys want to check it out in detail but i love using that same scalp massager and i do make sure to double cleanse because i of course want to make sure i get out all of the oil buildup in my hair in general but then especially because i did you know put that hair oil on my scalp and i do like to use this exfoliating shampoo from brio Gio just to really make sure i get all those oils out i will never wash my hair without applying a hair mask like never this is just everything for making sure my hair is super soft and smooth so i'll brush that through and let that sit after i did the dry brushing this is like a second step of exfoliation i love these exfoliating gloves and i will just do that all over my entire body don't forget your ears as well especially if your ears are pierced i feel like not enough people talk about this but you gotta scrub your ears <laughs> After that hair mask, I applied some conditioner on the ends of my hair, rinsed that out, and then I am washing my back. And then the best way to get your skin super soft is to apply some body oil while your skin is still wet at the end of your shower. It leaves your skin so soft and smooth. All right, I am out of the shower now. I'm putting on a little bit of this Ilia lip wrap. This stuff is amazing. It's such a good like lip mask to really hydrate your lips. I wanna put on a face mask and some nice eye patches so then we can get to my nails. I'm gonna use these Peter Thomas Roth 24K gold eye patches. So I actually don't have any hydrating masks, so I am going to come up with my own little concoction right now to leave on my skin while these eye patches are on. This is the Glow Recipe Avocado Ceramide Recovery Serum. I've used this before and I love it so much. Ceramides are really good um, if you have very dry, sensitive skin and they're really just gonna help restore moisture. So I'm putting double the amount I normally would because I want that to really sit on my skin for the next little bit until I take these eye patches off. Then I'm going to take the Summer Fridays Rich Plumping Moisturizer. Again, I am taking double the amount I normally would and really allowing that to sit on my skin. My skin is still red from the extractions, which is totally normal anytime you do any sort of extractions. My cuticles are embarrassing at this point. They always get so dry, especially in the winter. And you can see this one needs to be pushed back. So I am just going to give my cuticles a nice little trim and also file my nails. I've been loving just rocking my natural nails. So I'm just going to keep them like that. But obviously, you know, I need a little mini manicure and clean them up. You can literally see all of that dead skin. This thing does such a good job at smoothing your feet. I do have a coupon code for it. This is not sponsored by them, but I will put my code and link in the description box.
I will also apply more oil even though I already applied some in the shower I'll go ahead and apply even more and I'm telling you this is like the perfect way to get your body super hydrated so onto my hair I will leave all the products I use down below but I just decided to do a very simple blow dry and little straight in um, nothing special this is just kind of like my routine again I do have a hair care routine if you guys want to see details but I'll leave everything linked down below too all right i just straightened my hair it feels super soft but i am gonna be home all day so i usually like my hair out of my face so i'm gonna pop on my little headband and do some skincare right now okay first things first let's remove these eye patches i have been using this glass skin routine from peach and lily this is like all over tiktok and i've really been loving it so far Next, I'm gonna use their Glass Skin Serum. And then their Matcha Pudding, which y'all know I love my matcha. <laughs> matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream. So all of this is gonna be super soothing because I feel like I did a lot to my skin today. So I gotta soothe it and hydrate it. Adding just a few drops of that jojoba oil. 